Good evening folks and welcome back to a new vlog and it's a happy happy Friday evening today. Happy because I am back home in Mumbai. Not that I was unhappy <laughs> in Surat but obviously when you come to your own home and also to my favorite kitchen, I'm obviously happy. And speaking of kitchen as you can see I'm all ready to do something and that something is cooking this gross looking stuff so if you remember a few vlogs ago i had told you that i am uh, saving all these things i've seen in so many vloggers uh you know vlogs then they, they save these scraps of vegetables like you know the leaves the leftover stuff and all those things and save it in these kind of plastic airtight bags and then uh boil it into a broth so I'm going to do that and I'm going to use my lovely yellow pan that I had bought from home center a long time ago. So what we have to do is we have to put all these veggies. Please don't get scandalized. They will look gross. I have cherry tomatoes and carrot uh, sliced uh, carrot, carrot skin and, and potato skin and garlic skin and well, cauliflower stuff and God knows what else uh, is in there. Probably an onion or two. So I'm gonna let it set, melt a bit because it was in the freezer and it's frozen. So we'll let it melt a little bit before I turn on the gas. I'm gonna add some water, of course, needless to say, to put it to boil. Okay, so I have it all here. So I have, I don't know if you can see, cauliflower, carrot, well, some garlic leaves, capsicum, leftover, um, carrot skin, tomato, cherry tomato. And now I'm going to add some salt. Okay. So that it boils nicely and all the goodness of all these veggies is going to go in this water and it's going to make it a lovely broth so we're going to set it to cook i'm going to let this cook on low flame and i'll have to clean the bag later also for dinner i am going to make serving rice as you can see uh, this is the rice I had some left over, sorry, I had some handful of basmati rice left uh, and it was not enough to make anything else so I thought I'll make serving pilau and I had just bought serving last time so I have just put it for soaking for 30 minutes both rice and serving. I'm going to check out some YouTube video, I've never made serving rice in my entire life so I'm going to have to check out some video. Uh, for that and as you can see I also have mangoes at home now Sonu gave me four or five mangoes that she has bought from Nashik I think and three of them I have already finished <laughs> as expected but these are left and I don't think I can like cut them and use them because they become a little bit like mushy so I was thinking I was gonna make a mango smoothie or mango juice I don't know uh, but the milk I just bought and it's still warm after boiling so I have to let it set for some time so I was thinking I will put the mangoes away otherwise they will become really hot oh yeah and I've been looking at this jar again and again so this is a lovely cup that I have bought from Surat recently if you saw in my last vlog I had gone to the fair again looking for some nice uh, you know colorful printed plates but didn't find anything and then i got eye of this lovely uh, cup so this is a multi-purpose cup you can have coffee you can have juices you can have milkshakes smoothies whatever you want smoothies i don't think won't work because it's a very small straw i think juices will work so i don't think i can have my hmm, mango juice in this one it won't uh, well, so let's see but it's a very cute looking cup it says this cup is 
really cool. And there are many other cups with different designs and different like phrases on it. And this one is looking like, you know, like broken glass design. I love the design. And the best thing is this nozzle, it can be shut down. So um, you don't have that gap on of the straw coming out again and again when you're carrying it. Uh, and no spillage after all. And also this is not plastic, this is fiber. And this is very heavy duty, it's kind of quite heavy, it has a weight. Unlike the lightweight plastic cups, this is neither glass nor ceramic not plastic this is fiber and it's really good quality and very nominal price i think i bought it for 250 or 300 and it's kind of cool so i'm gonna use this one more often now uh, for two days smoothies and instead of having to create two cups or save it in some water i can save it here and then i can use it again i can drink as much as i want so happy to have this little thing in my house Anyway, so I'm going to let these things soak and I'm going to let this thing come to boil and I'm going to put the mangoes away. have been soaking for 30 minutes now and I have also done some shopping as per the recipe I have the onions ready chopped I had some leftover onions also and then some green chili as per the recipe and then I also have this uh, spices um, some peppercorns a clove cinnamon stick and some cardamom to add in the saute <clears throat> and yeah by the way Ooh, this thing smells heavenly. Josie, if you're watching my video, this is amazing. I hope this turns out really good. Let's see. Anyway, I have to get starting with my, well, soybean rice. So as for the recipe, I'm supposed to add some ghee in it. Since this is basmati pulao, okay, this is insane. It's not dropping off. <laughs> Oh, this is so hard. I don't want to touch it. It will be gooey. Okay, wait. I'm going to use another spoon to remove the key. I think we need more. This much we want to do. Okay. I have the ghee in there. I'm letting it melt. And now I'll add all these spices in it to saute in the ghee. I'm going to use my wooden spoon to saute these spices. I don't like too much of these spices just for taste. I might even, I normally even remove them <coughs> before I add rice or any, if I'm cooking any veggies. But today I'm not going to remove them. Let them cook. Oh, that smells heavenly. Okay, next time I'm adding some chili. Oops, that was dangerous. And then I'm adding the onions. So we have to saute them till they are translucent. And then we have to add ginger garlic paste. But I do not have ginger garlic paste. I don't like ginger garlic paste. So I have some chopped garlic ready which I will add one which is <clears throat> nice and translucent. Meanwhile, I will add all the garlic, well, <laughs> what do you call it, skin, into the boiling broth. I think I can even leave it open now, but let's see. Okay, they are nice and translucent. Now I can add the garlic as well. Sorry, I'm not even going to show you anything. But I'll definitely show you the plating. I'm sure you know how to make soybean rice. I'm the only moron who doesn't know how to make soybean rice and needs to look at a YouTube video for that. For what? 
Okay, now you have to add some green peas. Now I have these frozen peas with me for some time now. So I'm going to use those. I definitely don't have fresh peas. So How does it matter? I just need a few. And then you also have to add chopped well, carrots. But unfortunately I don't have any carrots. So no I problem. We will do without it guys. We will do without it. Wait, I'm gonna put this back. One sec. Now I'm also gonna add soybeans. Okay. This is all very first time for me guys. They're nice and mushy. They've soaked too much water looks like. I'm not gonna waste this water obviously. I'm gonna add it back. So I'm gonna mix all the oil and onions and chili and everything nicely with the soybean yeah okay let me show you what it looks like right now can you see it's all in there nothing much to see guys you can easily imagine what it looks like okay now the video says that you have to cook it for at least five minutes like so No, five minutes will be just too much. But let's see. Catch you after five minutes, guys. All right, now is the time to add some salt. Okay. I hope I'm not putting too much. And then some red chili powder. I'll be careful because I'll be adding long chilies. And then there's some coriander masala, coriander powder, and some other powder, and some garam masala. I'm not adding too much because I already added those uh, spices before, so just for context. And then you have to cook it for another two minutes. Though I will add some water just to ensure that the masala doesn't create a smoky environment in my room, otherwise I'll die. <coughs> coughing <laughs> so let it cook for one or two minutes with the soybean and all so it absorbs all the masala and then we will add oops this is wrong the rice i know i sound a little crazy tonight but what can i do i am just like that did. Okay, now let's add the rice. So I'm adding with the water only in which it was soaked. So you need not add more water later. So here we go. I think the quantity of soybean is a bit more than required, but it's okay, I love soybean anyway, so none of the mines. Okay, I'm gonna also add the water from the soybean soaking. And we're gonna, oh, this is enough. My grand great grandmother cooker because it is so old it's probably older than me I don't know <laughs> but it's with me for some time now and I am used to cooking in this so can't change it guys just can't change it for a new one oh it is gold okay let's let all of these things cook and then I will show you the final plating oh, I have to make my juice all right, folks, I am getting on with the superhuman task of, well, 
cutting the skin off, peeling the skin off this mango. It's kind of difficult, you know, it just comes off like that. Yeah, it's easier actually. It comes off fat for me. Come on. Okay, so here goes one of those threads. Oh, the mango. This is so difficult, honestly. How about, how about I just squeeze it into that jar? Would that be very unprofessional? Who cares? I need a mango juice there tonight. Okay, come on guys, don't smudge. And finally, I lose patience and I just squeeze the damn thing into the jar. And then I have my pants all gross. <laughs> okay, let me wash and get back to you guys. Okay, my hands are clean. Yeah, you guessed it right, I licked it off. Obviously, you can't waste a mango. <laughs> I have to lick it. Anyway, so I'm going to add some honey in this. No sugar. No sugar. Let's be very, very healthy. Maybe I can just drop a few drops there. Wow, sir. Okay. That should be enough. And then some milk, of course, because it's a juice, for heaven's sake. It's still not very cold. Okay. And I thought I'll add one of my smoothie jar contents. I have so many things. I have cashew, walnut, chocolate, seeds, and date. So all of this can also go in there. Why not? It's after all a shake. I hope this much milk will be enough. I am not really sure. Let's see. <coughs> Alright folks, my rice is cooking away. I made a major mistake. I did not do a taste test before, you know, to check for salt and spices before starting it, but yeah. All best. Anyway, my milkshake, mango milkshake is ready my mango and dry fruit milkshake you can see it's how bubbly it is i don't know if you can see it for next time also so i'm gonna make two cups two glasses sorry i'm super hungry wowzer look at that it's so amazing i'm gonna save both of these things I'm gonna, I'm gonna put both of these things in the fridge. Okay, I just realized that I had put my fridge on a defrost setting and that's the reason why my milk was not getting chilled. What a moron I am. All right, folks, the cooker is open. Time for a taste test, fingers crossed. Perfect, guys. Perfect salt, perfect spices. Not too spicy and not too salty. It's just perfect. Let me plate it up and this thing is also almost done. All right, folks. So here it is, my steamy soybean rice. It is looking yummy delicious with my super favorite mango shake and some curd. To go with it i am loving this guys all right folks i'm gonna enjoy this yummy delicious scrumptious delicious uh irresistible dinner and then drop dead because tomorrow again is a little bit of a working day not much and then i have plans for setting up my balcony with the periwinkles can't wait i will see you tomorrow ta-ta
Saturday afternoon, almost 1.30 p.m. And I was just about to have lunch. I had finished my day's work. And as you just saw, <laughs> I readied my ice cream also. This is the brownie, choco brownie fudge, gum vanilla, gum chocolate sauce. Oh my God, it's drooling. <laughs> On some cashews. I prepared it early because after having lunch I have to brush and I don't want to bother you know scooping all ice cream and all that. And for lunch I'm having my favorite dal khichdi left over from yesterday morning lunch. I had ordered dal khichdi. I love the dal khichdi tarka that they make over here. Anumati, so I love it. I'm just gonna dump this. Lately I have been consuming a lot of rice because I feel like wheat, which is something I love to consume, giving me is giving me a nice wheat belly, apart from the chocolates that I keep consuming and the cakes that I keep consuming. So I thought I will stick to having rice at least twice or thrice a week. Uh, though I'm not a great fan of rice, but balanced diet, guys, balanced diet. Yesterday night I had soybean pilaf. You saw that it had, well, sweet peas. It had garlic. It had chilies. It had rice and soybean, a rich source of protein. Anyway, let me finish this lunch and then we are gonna go to buy the periwinkle and some new pots to put in my lovely, adorable balcony. So let's get on with it. Bon appetit. All right, folks, I'm all set to go shopping, shopping for my periwinkle and I also have to buy some ceramic pots for the balcony. Outfit of the day, I'm wearing my melange top, lovely well, palm leaves top. Was it melange? Yeah, I think so. And my matching cream trousers, three. Love it. And some casual Carlton London ballerinas. Now, I am a bit confused whether I should wear these glasses, my new cat eye glasses, which are my go to glasses. I'm just reaching out for it for so many times, all the time. Or should I go for something new? And that is these. Okay, hold on. Yeah, these DNG dupe. I don't know if I showed you these glasses. I bought them from a local store where I got my, I went to get the battery cells of my batteries of my watches, wrist watches fixed. And I saw this lovely Dolce & Gabbana <laughs> tube glasses. They were just 250 rupees and I just fell in love with them. And I felt like they would be perfect if I have to drive wearing my helmet because they fit so snugly in my nose ridge. And it's very fitting on my, sides also so but i feel this is a bit ott for today so maybe when i go for a long drive i will wear these today i am sticking to these i love options okay i have to leave now needless to say i'm loaded in sunscreen because i'm not allowed to go out without sunscreen but i want to show you something else this is it visible hold on yeah, I'm using this new Lacme Hyaluronic Acid, 1% Hyaluronic Acid 9 to 5 Sunscreen SPF 50 plus 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 PA plus 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 plus. I don't know what that is, but um, I love it. It's very nice. I know Lacme is coming with such lovely products nowadays. I have been a diehard fan of Lacme products in so many years. So. And the smell of this cream kind of reminds me of my stay in Costa Rica. Uh, the smell is very, <laughs> you know, that kind of tropical smell. It's lovely. Anyway, enough babbling. I am running out now. See you later. By the way, the weather today is nice and cloudy. Perfect for me. You can see it's nice and cloudy. Perfect for me to go for a quick errand. All right, folks, I was heading back home from the nursery. I was climbing up to my house and I thought I'll show you what my balcony looks like um, from outside. So the roof, the wisteria and my lovely duckies and swans. Let's go home.
all right folks i am back home with my loot um so i bought two like big size like 19 inch 19 centimeter high and 21 centimeters in diameter pot two for each corner and then two medium size ones and yeah and i bought seven periwinkle plants i was i was thinking that you, you would have only the pink ones or the white ones but he also had these adorable orangey ones so i bought two of those and i bought two like whites these are the white ones they're a bit sad looking right now but they look good once we water them this is more of a orangey then this is light pink color and then this is another white one and then these are the standard like you know pink purple ones that we usually see and one more of that oh no this is another kind of whitish one so this i think is the pink purple one so happy happy i'm waiting for the gardener he's bringing the pots and then he will help me plant all my duckies and swans with periwinkle. Periwinkles are set up in my balcony. Let me show you. Look at that. Ta -da. Wow. All right, let me show you from outside. So this is the big plant pot. Then there's one at the corner where I have a cactus he planted. Then my two swans, duckies, and two smaller pots. And my new pot from the kitchen. I'm super happy with this, guys. I'm all sweaty from all the hard work that we just did. And now I just have to wait for 15 more days uh, when these things will start, this cute little flower, plants will start flowering. And according to him, as per his instructions, I have to give water to these plants um, only when the top soil becomes dry. And today I have to water it once, uh, either one hour after one hour or in the evening anyway i will do the needful i really really want this time my floral balcony will survive i have anyway moved all the artificial plants in the corridor which i showed you in the last vlog or before that and this time i want a real lovely floral balcony so fingers crossed i will do the needful look at how gorgeous it's looking guys i love it i love it and this is where i sit to work so every morning when i get up i'm gonna sit at work and be able to see this lovely floral balcony which will be full of periwinkles in the next 15 days all right folks i seriously feel i need to freshen up take a bath and then i'm gonna chillax it's a fun sunday tomorrow me and sonal might go out for some fun um hangout but I will see you next week with another video. Until then, take care, have fun, and happy botting!